Welcome to the Daily Market Recap, a detailed review of the market structure and the key support and resistance levels in the S&P 500 E-mini. Today is Wednesday, November 13th, 2013. After rallying up to 1770 during Monday's session, S&P futures pulled back modestly off of the high and traded back down to 1758. Overnight, the S&P sold down to the 1754 price level at or near the midpoint of the developing distribution, the key price level that we indicated in Sunday's market structure. Following the pullback to 1754, the S&P auctioned back up above yesterday's high, traded up to the prior multi-year high at or near 1775, and broke out of the current trading range and extended the trading range up at or near 1781 for a more detailed look at today's market developments, we'll turn our analysis to the 14-tick range chart. Here we see the initial pullback to the 1758 price level that developed during Tuesday's session. Overnight, the S&P traded up at or near 1766. The market pulled back at or near yesterday's low auction back up approximately to yesterday's settlement at 1765 before selling off in the pre-market and trading down to the midpoint of the trading range, the pullback target at or near 1754. At Wednesday's open, the S&P auctioned up off the low and paused at the 1762-1760 price level. The market traded in a very narrow range for the better part of two hours. The typical two-point up-down high-frequency market maker algorithm dominated the session. During the algo phase, the digital filters turned up and the S&P eventually rallied back up to yesterday's close at or near 1765. Following the retracement up to yesterday's close and filling the gap at yesterday's settlement, the buying interest accelerated and the S&P auctioned above yesterday's minor high and traded up to the multi-year high at or near 1774. While this appears to be a straight-up move from the perspective of the 14-tick range chart, in fact, the development that you see here took several hours before the market finally moved higher. The breakout came late in the day and into the close. After hours, the market continued to move higher and traded up at or near 1783. In the context of the rally above today's low and from the starting point of the up move that broke out of the narrow two-point consolidation, the maximum likelihood upside estimate of our Gaussian model is located at 1785. For a brief historical perspective, we can take a look at previous market developments at multi-year highs. The normal course of market development in all financial markets is non-linear. That means in an uptrend, the market rallies and then corrects. The market rallies and then corrects, rallies and corrects. This is the normal pattern of market development. Markets do not trade in a straight line. 
And even when the primary trend is up, there are always corrections. Of course, the most recent correction that we can think of is the sell-off that we observed last week from the retracement to the previous multi-year high located up at 1775. Last Thursday, we watched the S&P sell off from the retest of the multi-year high and pull all the way back down to 1736. Therefore, before one gets enamored about the latest multi-year high, one should keep in mind the events we witnessed Friday along with the outcome to all prior multi-year highs. While this example only goes back to July, if one was to analyze a chart of the S&P 500 index from its inception, you would see the same pattern of non-linear market development. Therefore, coming into tomorrow's session, we would expect to see the S&P pull back off its recent multi-year high. We should note that the fundamental factor associated with today's breakout were comments made by the new nominated Federal Reserve Chairperson, Janet Yeltsin. In several comments issued by Yeltsin today, she expressed her support for the unconventional, extraordinary, accommodative monetary policy otherwise known as quantitative easing. In response to Yellen's comments today, the Asian markets are trading higher as well. Despite additional Fed stimulus, we would expect to see the market pull back off of this multi-year high as it has pulled back off of every other multi-year high. Above the maximum likelihood estimate price level, is the extreme price excursion target that is located at 1793. And that concludes our daily recap for the S&P 500 E-mini. If you would like to follow our real-time commentary, we invite you to visit us online at www.followthebots.com. Log on and join us some morning at the open.